So let's talk rifle. The rifle system that I've been using for the last number of years is the Climber Platform by Gunworks. This is their lightweight kind of mountain platform that has just been dead nuts on for me over the last four years or so. Now this gun in particular is, start off with the barrel, carbon wrapped barrel, 20 inches long, so it's fairly short, which I really like, which allows me to, you know, bush bash, just doesn't get caught up on stuff. Not like, you know, you get into that 24, 26 inch barrels and, and those things are just difficult to move through brush, especially when you're goat hunting and you know, it seems to be on goat hunts up here, just really dense bush and just is, is a pain in, pain in the butt. That's why I really like that 20 inch barrel, carbon wrap lightens it up. I've got a good muzzle brake on there that uh, really takes the recoil out of this. This is a 300. Wind mag, which I really like when it comes to you know a little bit bigger game. Some of the really cool features are the butt plate on this is very forgiving. It you know even if it's a 300, it takes up a lot of that recoil that you have to deal with in that butt plate. You know the stock is synthetic stock. It's lightweight, really nice comb on it. So when you're getting down behind it, you can settle into that rifle and it just feels really good. Titanium action, everything in this rifle is really built on trying to lighten it up as much as possible so that when you're carrying it day after day, that it provides you a really stable precision platform at as light a weight that you can get and still provide that which is what we want when we start to reach out there in the mountains and start to, well, a thousand yards out of the box. You need to have the ability for that weapon to be able to handle that style of shooting, but you also need it to be comfortable and lightweight, and that's what we have right here. So I've been really happy with this. This is, like I said, the 300 Win Mag. I use this on, generally speaking, a little bit larger game. Moose hunting, bison, this is my go-to. Now, when it's in the mountains, I have the exact same system. Mine typically is in a seven Somme, which I really find for mountain game, a little bit lighter boned. Now, sure, you can use the seven Somme on moose, no problem, but I really like that caliber when it comes to mountain game and a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller animal. So I don't really get super technical about what caliber that I need to use when it comes to maybe not those distances that are really out there. I find that flatter shooting seven Somme, you know, high speed, it's just a really good round. Now, when you start to split hairs, when you start to get out to farther distances, I still think that it performs amazingly. For me in the mountains and the kind of style of hunting that I do, I don't find that I really need to be super precise. I'm not generally taking thousand yard shots where I'm really worried about, you know, wind drift. Do I take those shots in practice and do I want to be proficient at them? Yes. Just in case I do come across a scenario where that is my only option. Feeling that you have the ability and proving that you have the ability in training scenarios is great. Do I look for those thousand yard shots in the field? No, I don't. My theory is get close, but not too close, especially when we're talking about being out there and hunting and you know, with cameras and there's three, sometimes even four of us out there. Now I find that the sweet spot for me is that 400 yards where we can really capture the moment on video. Plus we can take a really good ethical shot that I know that this is done long before I actually squeeze that trigger. And when I have, you know, this weapon in particular, or my seven saw them on the same platform, uh, I just know what it can do. And when I'm at those distances, I know it's already done. It's just a matter of completing the task. So I would say if you're looking for a really great, lightweight, precision mountain system, check out the Climber by Gunworks. So if you don't have one of these, I would really recommend uh, if you're in the market, check it out. I think that you will definitely be, uh, be happy with what you see. Another great thing about a high quality rifle like this 
is the old days of, you know, wooden stocks and blued barrels. I just don't see that where they have a place in my world for the style of hunting that I do. Just because when you're in the mountains and you're knocking your gun around, you just want something that can take the abuse that you don't have to really worry about while you're out there. And that's why the carbon wrap barrel or a stainless steel barrel or something like that is just far better than an old blue barrel in my opinion. Because we're out in the field for you know, sometimes weeks at a time. And to have to be concerned about the rifle that you take and you know pitting and be really concerned about these things take away from the actual hunt that and the pursuit often. So that's why I really, you know, modern technology is proving to be the choice for me when it comes to mountain hunting for sure. So now that you have a rifle system that you know you can count on, that is gonna be weather proof basically, now you talk about what do I put on a system like that? Well, this rifle of mine, I have the AMG, which is a great scope. The biggest thing that you want in a mountain scope is the ability to have the adjustable turret with first focal plane. And I like a large objective. This is a 50 objective with the ability to really dial in and, and you know, expand and pull it back. So this one here is a six to 24, gives me great field of view, gets me the ability to really go out there and look at things. So when I move from my spotting scope to my scope on my rifle, there's not this huge difference. You know, the old three by nine, when it comes to mountain hunting, those environments, that system to me is archaic. It's like being out there with a blued rifle and a wooden stock. Those days to me are completely gone. If you know better, you do better and you use better if you can. So that's where a high quality optic on a high quality rifle with the proper training. And I really like to put a drop chart attached to my guns. And I know my range finder is working. If I know the range and the drop chart is on my gun, I can quickly pull it up, dial it in, lock it in, put it down and I'm good to go. So those are the, the things that I require in a mountain hunting rifle plus a rifle scope. You put those th two things together along with a drop chart, as long as you have a range finder, you're pretty much good to go in any situation. So if you wanna learn more about this rifle and this optic, check out the links, we'll attach them, where we dial in to exactly what these things do and the performance of them. So thanks for watching. If you find that these videos are helpful, we really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and keep tuning in.